Yeah, drone here. What's going on, guys? I got some beta FPV stuff here. I got uh, four sets of motors. Bam, so. I also got about five or six batteries. 300 milliamp an hour, 3.7s. Or they might be the LHIV, which they are. They're 4.35 uh, max voltage. Um, and then we also have a 1S. Whoop. 1S brushless flight control, which is Fry Sky. I'm gonna attempt to put all this on here. I already know the motors match up, so the motors are gonna be simple. It's just gonna be place these over the top of the holes, screw them in, and um, the screws for them are underneath there. The only difficulty is gonna be this, trying to mount it on there, but uh, with the power of YouTube. Guys, so here's where we're at. Again, the motors fit on this frame just fine, but the board itself wouldn't. So what I've done, I've chopped a 010's frame because this board fits on a 010's frame perfectly. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip tie this frame down and I have it, I even cut the original frame here underneath there. So that can go in there and the 010 frame can fit flush on there. I think I'm going to zip tie that down and then you can see the front where those crescents are. They're just going to fit right. Let me try to focus in here. That screw hole there that's where this crescent is going to go right there. That's going to go in there. This one over here is going to go in this side right above my finger. Um, so again, we'll do some YouTube uh, fast forwarding and bam. You're just about done, guys. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the power wire. If I'm going to run it underneath, which I do have a hole to run it through. Um, or if I'm going to leave it on top. I do have a top piece of uh, carbon fiber that I can put over top of this. I don't know if I'm going to do that or if I'm just going to leave it bare. Uh, clearly, we're going to want to get a, a camera on this so we can fly at FPV. But for now, I think we're just going to figure out uh, propellers, get those on, and uh, see if uh, she'll lift up. See if I got, got everything uh, on right. I think I do. I already got it bound to the controller. I already fired the motors. All four motors fired, but uh, we'll see. We will see. Power YouTube! Just about done, guys. I've checked the propellers. My channel configuration's proper. Um, I've been on beta flight. I don't know what's going on. Fire the motors. Go to throttle up. All it wants to do is do a tornado spin. That looks good. In a group called Tiny Whoop, dude su suggested do slow-mo, as you were able to see all my motors were moving the same way. Then this conversation happened, told me to get BL Heli. I got BL Heli with your LiPo battery plugged in and the USB to the drone. You go ahead and click down there. Once you click down there, you're going to get your ESCs. Um, and there is four, but the fourth one you can't see. It's off screen. Once you do that, you need to reverse the ones that you need to. For me, I had to reverse two and three. Once I reverse two and three, all I had to do in bottom right, I had to uh, click right setup, I believe it was. And then this is what you see upper left. And then this was right after. I had a battery charge. I wanted to get out. I just wanted to test it a little bit. And as you can see, it flies really well. We will do a hat cam fly for like two minutes uh, where I rush out and dark time. But this thing flies excellent. It doesn't have a lot of punch upwards, but it has considerable punch outwards as you were able to see right there. So all in all, this was a win. Huge thank you to the dude over in Tiny Whoop. And there it is. This is all put together. It's pretty dark out, so this would be a good test of this hat camera. We're just going to give it a run. Um, that way you ca guys can hear it, you guys can see it, which it'll be a little bit difficult. But uh, I'm using a Tanker 4K camera, and it's not looking too bad. Uh, we'll try to keep it up in the sky so you can see it up there. But without any further ado, let's go. Um, the way that I have this set up, the way that I showed you guys I had it set up, is uh, using a 010's board to put the flight controller on. This is a Fry Sky flight controller I'm gonna go ahead and put it down there and make sure switches are up and motors are fired it's up and again you guys probably aren't going to be able to see that too well maybe I'll try to bring it over here by my light I should have turned my garage light on We'll go over here by the light. Hopefully you guys can see that. And just walk in front of my light here. It should turn on. It did turn on. And we'll go this way. It's 
really cool. Again, I'll try to do a punch up here. I don't know how well it's going to transition. Whoa, power lines. Got to watch them. So it doesn't have much punch. It does have pitch forward. It has considerable pitch forward. And the only lights on this are from the flight controller. But this was simple. This was a really simple build. Um, obviously, we could throw an FPV camera on it. Um, but as far as line and sight flyer, this is awesome. And we're just about out of battery. I also did not fully charge the battery, so it just kind of sagged out. It's extremely durable. I had this out earlier. Um, and the frame that I'm using is a Ghoul RC G890 frame. We'll just go ahead and go over here by the Cadillac just to show you. So, I mean, you can see it's branded Gore C. It was, it was the first drone that I had that I was really learning how to fly FPV with that I killed. And then I just had sitting around and I'm like, yo, okay, I, I got the board. I got, I got batteries. I got motors from Beta FPV. So let's try to put this together. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you enjoyed the diagnostics on uh, all the motors spinning at the same time. Uh, this should have been really informative. The drone itself flies for about three, three and a half minutes, um, which isn't bad for a super small, and we're using pretty small batteries too. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button, questions, comments, concerns, put it down below.